unlike any other show I can think of, this is a show where every single thing needs to be pretty much crafted from scratch. It's not a show that's set in a place that exists, so there's nowhere you can go to find the elements of this world. There's so many brilliant craftsmen. It seemed almost a shame to not let other people see these things. And really these artists who deserve so much credit for the work that they've done, for the passion they put into the show, and it's great to give them a moment, you know, to have um, this book that really commemorates their efforts, whether it's Tommy Dunn's swords and all the other weaponry, or Michelle Clapton's costumes. People like Will Simpson doing the storyboards and Gemma and her team of production artists. You're surrounded by the result of, of so much love and, and skill. It's a wonderful, great thing that, that we managed to get the book together. Game of Thrones, I think, it's got a reality to it that pulls you in. I mean, I know we're, we're meant to deal with dragons and whatever it is, eight foot wolves, but I think because of the characters and the intrigue that's involved in here, I sometimes forget that we're actually dealing with a fantasy world because you're trying to set it in an arena that feels like real time. And because it's not related to any particular time, there, there's really no starting place. Okay, it's medieval, but it is a fantasy, but there are so many medieval fantasies. I think we all agreed. We really want to take this somewhere else and just explore a bit more. And that's, I think, why we wanted to take a look around the world. All the worlds that I adore, I've managed to kind of go into and pluck out bits that I think have become appropriate for all our different worlds, because all of them have to be very instantly recognizable and instantly have a sort of hit. So you as audience members will go, oh, we must be in the Dothraki's. Oh, we must be in King's Landing. It was very hard at the beginning because we had a huge amount of ideas and um, design aspects that we wanted to do. How are we going to build this now? It's one thing to do a drawing of seven spires, you know, thousands of feet high. You know, you end up on one stage trying to build a composite set that gives you the essence of what this is. So that's been quite a struggle. Um, but I think we've done some real magical stuff. I think that was really interesting, developing those things on a practical level. I mean, you know, the armour has to work. It doesn't have to look like anything we've seen before, but it still has to work as armour. Between costume armoury, costume, stunts, fight choreograph, it has to be a fine balance all around because at the end of the day, you can't be just pretty and not be able to move. They have to have a physical manner. Everybody seems to have a really good shared vision as to what this is meant to be. There's something amazing when you step on set, especially if you've been involved in any way in drawing up any part of the design for it. And suddenly the world comes to life. And when you watch it, you can really believe you could be there. It's, it's a proud time, all right. Very pleased to see a lot of creations and a lot of our own ideas going out there on TV. It's been so immense, this project, from start to finish. We look back and we think, did we do that? Gosh, when was that? Hopefully all of this stuff sort of disappears into the fabric of the story. But it's fun to then, after you've had that experience, to go back and enjoy them as almost objects of art and just appreciate how much work and how much love went into it. To see some of that and to have it in a book, you know, it's, it's, it's something that I want to have. Like, I'm just, I'm part of the reason I'm kind of selfishly glad they've made it because it's something I really want just to have on my bookshelf. <laughs>